Welcome to Byte Further. In today's video, we'll talk about how to fix iPhone 17 cellular connection issues. Several users report that no longer after they purchase the new iPhone 17 series on launch or later, the device unexpectedly is experiencing cellular connection issues after setting up. Here are a few cases. 1. iPhone 17's cellular connection repeatedly fails, going from 5G to no service, then to SOS. 2 iPhone 17 keeps dropping calls within a few seconds of the conversation over FaceTime or WhatsApp or any data call. 3. When calling out in iPhone 17, data signals keep losing and only the call failed message comes up. If you're also troubled with the iPhone 17 cellular connectivity issues, both software and hardware problems are possible. We'll help give several useful solutions to get the mobile data back. Don't forget to give this video a like or a super thanks if this video helps move past the initial setup screen. Now, let's start. Step 1. Restart your new iPhone 17. Whether your new iPhone 17 is not connecting to cellular services from Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, or others, a restart is the simplest fix. It helps rule out if the temporary system glitches are causing the random call drops or other cellular connectivity issues. Follow these steps to perform a reboot on your iPhone 17 to get back the cellular service. Press and hold either volume up or down button and a power button at the right side. When a power off slider appears, move it to the right and let the phone switch off. After around 30 seconds, press and hold the power button at the right side again until the Apple logo pops up. Wait for the Apple logo to go past and then your iPhone 17 boots up. Test if you can have a stable internet connection or call out smoothly using the cellular service now. Step 2. Toggle on and off the airplane mode. Sometimes, doing a reboot on the network settings can help fix cellular data not working on iPhone 17. An easy way to do that is to enable airplane mode then disable it. Here are the detailed instructions. Open the control center by sliding your finger downwards from the top right corner of the screen. Tap the airplane icon to switch it to orange on status. Wait at least 30 seconds, then tap the airplane icon again to switch it off. Now, the network connection is refreshed, including the cellular service connection. Go and check if it handles issues with mobile data connectivity. Step 3. Reinstall the SIM. iPhone 17 series also supports SIM for cellular service. If you're transferring SIM from the old phone to the new iPhone 17, the changed environment and operating system will lead to conflicts with original cellular network configurations. As a result, your iPhone 17 is having cellular connectivity issues. The workaround towards this case is to erase the SIM first by going to the Settings app and deleting it from the cellular section. Then, visit your cellular service provider's store to ask them to reinstall the SIM into your phone. Step 4. Change 5G to LTE. Enabling 5G on a smartphone allows higher data usage for running apps or system tasks. But the 5G might be limited in certain areas and tend to exceed limits on the data plan so as to result in iPhone 17 cellular signal issues. To fix it, you can try to change the cellular data settings and switch from 5G to LTE in the voice and data section. Step 5. Update the carrier settings via iPhone 17. When your iPhone 17 is having cellular issues, sometimes all it requires is performing an update on the carrier settings. Thankfully, this can be easily done through your device's settings app. Here are the detailed steps. Tap on the settings app. Choose general. Select about. If a dialog box pops up showing carrier settings update available, just tap on the update option. Then, follow the on-screen instructions until the carrier update installation begins. Once done, take a look if the calls can get through and the cellular service can get you back online. Step 6. Delete VPN profiles. Cellular service unavailable issues can sometimes be related to the VPN profiles you've installed on your new iPhone 17. To restore the cellular data, one way worth trying is to remove the VPN profiles. Here's what you need to do. Tap on the Settings app. Tap on General. Choose VPN and Device Management. Select VPN. Locate the added VPN files and tap the eye icon next to it. On the next page, hit Delete VPN and Confirm. If you've also installed the VPN app, delete them from the home screen, too. 
After confirming that the cellular network works properly on your iPhone 17, then you can add the VPN back. Step 7. Reset all the network settings on the new iPhone 17. If your iPhone 17 still has cellular connection issues, consider performing a reset on the device's network settings. All the network configurations including cellular service settings, connected Wi-Fi networks and passwords, VPN files, saved Bluetooth connection, and so on will be restored to their factory defaults. If you want to try this trick, here are the detailed steps. Tap on the Settings app. Choose General. Scroll to the bottom and choose Transfer or Reset iPhone. On the following screen, choose Reset then tap on Reset Network Settings. Complete the following prompted instructions and you're good to go. Step 8. Contact the support team. You've done attempting all the handy troubleshooting steps when iPhone 17 has no cellular service. If the device still drops cell services with full signal bars, then call your carrier's support team first. Ask them if there is no issue occurring on their server's end. Next, call for device support or visit the Apple Store to let the technician there run complete diagnostics on your iPhone 17's hardware. Or you can check if your newly purchased iPhone 17 meets the return and exchange policy. That's all for how to fix cellular connectivity issues on an iPhone 17, iPhone 17 Pro, or iPhone 17 Pro Max. If you find this video helpful, please buy a super thanks for this video and give this video a like. Your support means a lot to us to deliver more useful videos to help those in need. Also, if you have any further questions, feel free to write them down in the comments below and I'll reply ASAP. To learn more tech tips about iPhones, subscribe to the Byte Further channel. Now, you can click another video on the screen to keep watching.